Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with an unboxing from the fabulous Muni Maid. I actually have a couple of their new releases here that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. And one of them was actually sent over by Muni Maid, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much, my friend. Um, I am loving Muni Maid's new releases. I've completed one of their kits already since they launched Diamond Paintings not too long ago, and I've been completely thrilled with the quality and with their reception to feedback as well. So I am in love with some of these new releases already. I'm probably gonna get more than the ones that you see in this video, but for now, We've got a couple to look at. So I did open, I cut, cut open the box just for sake of ease, but I haven't otherwise touched it. Uh, so it was packed with some extra packaging for care. And of course, all this sparkly fun packaging and tissue paper that's really consistent with how Muni made packages, everything that she has. Now, you may know Muni made best for her diamond painting accessories, specifically her trays are really popular and well known. If you were curious, by the way, there's a little sneak peek at what I'm going to show you, but uh, her trays, which can be really hard to come by on their own, um, you can actually get them as upgrades for her diamond painting kits. So that's really fun. I'll tell you more about that in just a bit. But here is a little thank you note from them. And then we've got some goodies in here. You guys, this is actually the first kits that I've gotten from Muni Maid that are gonna have the, these branded bags, but okay, real, real quick first. So there's their business card and their socials. Now, keep in mind, Muni is like all of a couple of months away from her due date with her first little one. And so it is very likely that things will, will slow down just a little bit as far as her biz goes, but I feel like we can all totally understand and appreciate that. So, um, just taking a look at my invoice really quick. Ooh, fun little Easter freebie. She always includes freebies of some sort. Oh, there's a cute little phone. <laughs> Box and space squishy in here. Okay, this is kind of perfect. I don't think that she would have any idea about this, but this is actually kind of perfect because um, my I have two little boys. My oldest, we did his whole nursery and all things foxes, and my youngest, my second kiddo, we did his whole nursery and all things space and galaxy. Uh, so that is entirely too perfect. I'm gonna have to keep that. Okay, so we have two kits in here. Only one of them did I upgrade the toolkit on. The other one I think comes with just a basic toolkit or maybe I told her I would just forego the toolkit entirely, but so fun. She switched over recently to having all of her kits come in these branded bags, which is so, 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 so much fun. Um, let me see what's in them first and then I will show you the actual bags themselves, or sorry, the, the upgraded toolkit in more detail as well. Okay, okay, so I know which one that is. So I wonder then if this one's gonna come with the regular toolkit. And I will stop teasing you in just a moment and I'll tell you what these kits are. <laughs> okay, so, perfect. I like that there's different colors of those as well. Let's take a quick look. So this kit is Roselle, Roselle by M Michelle Zia or Shia. And it's absolutely beautiful. This one's gonna have round diamonds, 50 by 67 centimeters. And then this one I'm so stoked for. Uh, this one is called Beauty and Chaos, and it's by a new to Muni made artist, Tally Sketch. 80 by 60 centimeters, this one's gonna have squares. And there's something about this image that I was so incredibly drawn in by. So we're actually gonna start with Beauty and Chaos, which is actually, I believe, the kit that I, yeah, that's the one that I decided to get the upgraded toolkit for. So what happens is that for each of the kits, she offers an option of upgrading the toolkit and you get a whole bunch of coordinating accessories. Um, and you don't get to change the color on the tray that comes with it or anything like that, which is totally fine. Um, and it comes with some other fun upgrades as well. So, and it all coordinates. So we have this fun aqua pen. It's actually a diamond painting pen, you guys. That's so fun, little novelty pen. And then this washi tape, which matches the kit. This is so cute and so much fun. And then we've got, oh, okay. The basic toolkit pieces I will, well, are in here as well. So then we have a basic pen and a pair of tweezers. Again, the color's all coordinating. Um, we have some wax that comes in a caddy. It looks like there's blue wax that comes in that caddy. 
And look at this beautiful, this is a minder, you guys. It has magnets on the back. You can use cover minders to hold back the plastic cover of the area you're working on. If you're brand new to diamond painting, by the way, I actually have a video that's dedicated to uh, diamond painting for beginners. So I walk you through the whole process of diamond painting step by step. And you can definitely go and take a look at that if you want to have a little bit of guidance walking through how to do your diamond painting and the different elements and stuff that comes with your kit and stuff like that. So this is the coordinating tray color. You do get the lid and the stopper as well. So this is, I believe, pastel green. Like I said, you don't get to change the tray color that comes with it. It's going to match the kit along with all the other accessories. And this is, of course, the, the upgraded trays. Mina Maid had done a round of upgrades, I think, over this last summer. So it's been a while now. But I really, really love their trays. Their trays are so incredibly nice to work with. I definitely gravitate towards their large trays because I do a lot of multi-placing. I feel like the drills line up so easily, so incredibly easily. Oh my gosh, I just realized that even the bag is on theme. The whole upgraded toolkit is on theme. It's like a luxury experience and upgrade. It's such a fun option that she offers. Um, anyway, her trays are just some of my absolute favorites. Okay, so this is all sealed up. Let's, um, yeah, it's not taped anywhere. It's actually all sealed. Where'd I put my scissors? There we go. We'll cut this open. And I'm glad I have that bag, the branded bag, that I get to put this in after, too. That'll be really nice. So there was just something about this one that caught my eye. And it's funny because I've been talking a lot about how I've been wanting to move away from large kits. And this is 80 by 60, so it is large. But I think this is going to be really neat to work on because of all of the little details in here. So let's take a look at the canvas up close and see how those details are gonna translate. Okay, so this is oriented correctly. Oh my gosh. Okay, and I can't even quite fit all of it in frame. Look at all of these details. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I just love it. I love it. And I'm unrolling it and I'm going, no, that doesn't look too big. That doesn't look too big at all. Okay, so we have a big bag of diamonds here that we will take a closer look at in just a moment. Let me show you what else has been included. It's a nice big info pamphlet. So a thank you note from Meanie Maid talking about how she started, uh, mentioning how can, um, receptive they are to feedback, which I can speak from experience. If you go and look at the post review I did of my first kit from Meanie Maid, which was just from one of their first runs of kits, and I talk about how receptive they were to feedback, um, where we kind of recharted a little bit of that one. Here's some info. She wrote out some step-by-step -step instructions for how to diamond paint. And then their policies and like returns, or if you run out of diamonds, you contact them. They legally license all their artworks. That means they've gotten the permission of their artists to use their artwork and are compensating them as well. They hand chart their, their, their pieces. So that means that they have a designer that they work with that takes the original artwork and is deliberately choosing what colors go where, um, not only just what colors are used, but how, how the image is shaped because it's essentially pixel art. Um, and it's, I mean, I feel like you can tell just looking at this, look at those crisp, clean lines. This is definitely a hand charted piece. You're not going to see lots of like random speckled dots and stuff. And you're not going to see, um, hopefully not any like odd colors or anything like that because someone has taken a human touch to putting this piece together. And I definitely, definitely love working on kits that have been, been hand charted. It really makes a difference in my opinion. Um, and here we have some info about their upcoming changes that are coming. So include, in addition to that, we also have this large sticker sheet, Muni Made Beauty and Chaos by Tally Sketch. Start and end date, little spot there. There's that beautiful original artwork. I'm probably gonna cut this out and use this in my paper log book. And then diamond shape square, the skew, the size. And then you guys, we have a set of pre-cut stickers over here. So um, we have both a set of rectangle stickers down here and then a set of smaller stickers over here. Because if you like to take your diamonds and put them into like bead storage containers or something like that, a lot of times those have a really small surface area. And actually maybe this size sticker is exactly what you need. So that's a really fun addition on their part. They do use the DMC color code system. This comes from the DMC brand of floss. It's what most diamond painting companies do use. 
the symbols all look like. Ones that I worked with in my last Mini Made kit. And that's a fun one. It's like two clouds. That's new. <laughs> Umbrella and an airplane. Some of these are new to me. And then it does look like we're going to have two AB diamonds in this kit, two special drills, two special drill colors. Uh, we'll be sure to take a closer look at those once we're actually looking at the diamonds in just a little bit. But first, let's take a closer look at this canvas together. So um, if you are noticing that your canvas wants to curl up at the edges like this, which actually it's laying pretty flat on its own already, but to help it along, we're going to roll it backwards the opposite direction and that will help it lay flat faster. Now, Mimi Maid uses poured glue on her canvases and uses a nice canvas quality. So that is not gonna hurt the glue or the canvas itself at all. And there it's laying perfectly flat. So <laughs> let's go on a little tour. So the backing on the canvas is this really nice, like short lint, soft lint material. I really like that a lot. You can see the edges have some, some finishing, some scalloping here. So you shouldn't have to worry about any fraying. Here's their branding at the top, Muni made. We have a schematic over here that has the size and the thumbnail and everything. And then we've got the legend with all 50 something colors, 63 colors <laughs> going down the right hand side. And it also comes up the left hand side as well. On a canvas this big, I may be gonna recommend referring to the stickers on your containers or baggies, as opposed to always like finding the number on the canvas and then finding on the legend and then finding it on the bag. <laughs> you know what I mean? Save a little time. Here at the bottom left, there's the thumbnail, Beauty and Chaos by Tally Sketch. The size, and then you guys, we already talked about this a little bit, but I'll mention it again, copyright. So art theft is really common in the crafting world, but shops like Mini Made are doing right by artists where they are licensing the artwork. Like I said, Tally Sketch has both given permission for the use of this artwork and is being compensated for it as well which I love. I just love it. <laughs> and here's info about, this is Mini Maid's website. And then look at that, they link to the artist's Instagram. I think that's a really nice touch as well. Now let's take a look up close at the drill field on this canvas together. So there's that airplane symbol, cute. <laughs> Looking at this, the drill field looks to be printed really clearly. Uh -huh. I'm seeing a nice mix of color blocking and confetti. Let me give you a couple of examples of what I'm talking about. So if you look right here, we have a bunch of this star symbol all in this small area. We'll call this color blocking because I'll be able to use my multi-placer in there and have that color in my tray for a while. So that'll go a little faster. By contrast, if you look in here, lots of color changes in a small area. This is more like what we would call confetti. Confetti is gonna take you a little bit longer because you'll mostly be single placing, maybe changing out that color in your tray a little bit more often, but confetti means usually, and in this case, I'm sure it will, that you're going to get even more detail because there's that, that subtlety there. So I like a nice mix in my paintings though because confetti keeps it interesting and you get that detail, but color blocking keeps it moving. Yeah, the printing is really clear on these for sure. I don't recall having issues on my last canvas. There might have been a couple of symbols that were a little bit similar. I'm sure I sent, I know I sent her pictures if there were though. But so far, so good on here. First glance, I don't see symbols that look too similar. I love this cat in the window so much. Can I just talk about how much I love that cat? <laughs> It's so cute. The level of detail in this kit. I love it. I feel like this would be one of those kits that every single little section that you work on is going to be so much fun because there's going to be a little something different in each part of it. And it's just going to be a joy to work on. I don't know why this just caught my eye and I didn't mind the size whatsoever. I was like, I think it has to be that size for you to get the detail in this kit. And I want to work on this like really, really badly. This is really, really calling my name. Let's do a measurement. I'm curious to see and confirm. Okay, so we are uh, about a centimeter shy of 80 centimeters left to right. And then top to bottom here, let's see. We are half a centimeter shy of 60. So we're a little bit short, but, 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 but I give companies a centimeter or two of wiggle room because 
you know, you don't always know exactly what's happening with the actual hand charting that's going on. You don't want to distort the image or anything like that. Uh, and so sometimes there just are slight differences like that. I am still calling this true to size and it's definitely not anything that's like a deal breaker for me. So enjoy this beautiful backdrop. Like I, I cannot get over it. The level of detail in this is so, so neat. And I just want to start it and be like, okay, now I want to work on this section and now I want to go up to the shelf and now I want to do this plant and I want to do the cat. Like I am really, really enamored by this. <laughs> anyway, let's keep it moving. We have our nice big bag of diamonds here. And there's just a ton of rich colors in here. I love it. I love it. Let's take a closer look at some of these. Oh, and there is, by the way, there is a sticker here on the bag, on the outside of the bag, which this is the same as the skew of the kit. So if you store these separate from the canvas, like not in the bag that they came in, it should be really easy to match them up again later, just so you know. So let's take a look at some of these. So our diamonds here are coming in resealable baggies here. So if you want to just work out of the baggies, you can totally do that. You can grab the sticker sheet if you like, and you can put these stickers directly on the baggies if you want. Um, my preference though is to actually pour the colors out of the baggies and into storage containers that are a little more structured and sturdy because I'm a little klutzy. <laughs> um, and I'll put my stickers on, on those storage containers instead. But you have options. It's really nice that you have options because I know that a lot of people really do prefer to work out of these resealable baggies. And even if you work out of storage containers, you could still save these baggies and reuse them afterwards if you wanna save your leftover diamonds. So sometimes we will have a couple of bags of the same color, depending on how many we need. Now, FYI, this number on top that you're seeing, that's gonna match up with the left column on the legends. Like this is number 28. And then the 920 is on here as well. So we get the legend number and the DMC number on these. So whichever you prefer to refer to, just some small bags of pink and blue. Make it pink, make it blue. Ooh, I see our special diamonds. We'll look at those last, I'll set those aside. But these are square diamonds, like I had mentioned earlier. I think the last kit I worked on from her was rounds. I'm pretty sure it was rounds. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. So uh, square diamonds can be a little more fickle. You wanna make sure that they are uniform in size and shape so that you're not dealing with popping drills when you're placing them because square diamonds sit up right close, right next to each other on the canvas. So it's really important that they are uniform in size and shape. So I'm looking like at the bottoms of these to see, okay, are there any little tabs sticking off the sides or are there any glaring inconsistencies in the sizing? And I have to say, so far, so good. These look like they're really, really nice quality. So, love the rich colors. Lots of neutrals, lots of muted tones. Really gorgeous. Occasional stragglers, that's normal too. And then, just a few more here at the end. Yeah, there's a few bags of this, like, ivory color, 3865. I got some big handfuls here. <laughs> yeah, lots of beautiful shades of browns and beiges and some pale pastels. Just a gorgeous and very serene, like a very serene color palette. There's a lot about this kit that just seems like it's serene is the vibe that I'm getting from it. Heck, I wish that my workspace looked this like beautifully displayed and organized. Okay, two colors I wanna point out to you guys. We do get two different colors of special diamonds here. These are called AB diamonds. You can see the, the AB right here and here. These get their name from the Northern Lights. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And if you take a look, both of these colors have an iridescent and super sparkly coating on the top. The areas these have been charted, it's gonna to serve to highlight those areas and really draw your eye to their, those areas. And it's reflecting a lot of colors besides just the base color. They're so sparkly, even more sparkly than regular diamonds are. They're stunners, they're absolute stunners. So let's take a quick look at the canvas and see if we can easily find where those ABs are gonna go. Because we had just the smallest handful of the yellow AB and a little bit more of the white AB, but not a ton. 
Okay, so our white AB is doing some highlighting in the clouds on the computer screen. It's also in these headphones. The white that you're seeing is, is AB, as is this cord and the keys on the keyboard and this here, this cord. Those are all white ABs. And then I found our yellow ABs, you guys. So we have this string of lights that comes down at the top of the window and then comes down the side of the window frame. The yellow in the bulbs has about half a dozen, well, more like four or five ABs in each bulb. So that I love, I think that's gonna be perfect. And then let's see, I wanna make sure I don't miss any. There are, there's like a couple of white ABs right here and right here. And then over here, I think this is like a set of pictures. So I think where the glass is reflective is where we have, we have some white ABs charted through, through those panes. And then I think that may be it. I just want I'm taking a close look to make sure I'm not missing, not missing any. Okay, so yeah, the yellow ABs are just in the bulbs for the string of lights going around the window. And the white ABs are mostly centered around like the computer. Oh, there's a little sprinkle of it right here as well. And then right here, and then one dot right here. And then two dots right here. And then, oh, actually up here too. It's almost like maybe it's just sort of the light playing off of, let's look at the art. Oh, there's a little sparkle in the air. That's cute. Okay, so you guys see, there's these little sparkles. That's what those are. That's white ABs. That's so cute. I love it. That's so, 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 so cute. You guys, this is Beauty and Chaos by Tally Sketch. This is one of Muni Maid's brand new releases. Uh, I'm not positive if it's, if it's still in stock on the website. I will double check. Um, I'll have it linked below. These kits that she's releasing are not limited edition. So if, um, you, if you want this kit and it says it's currently out of stock, don't fret. You can follow along on their socials and whatnot, and it will eventually be coming back. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pack this one up and move it over to the side. I'd really love to show you the second kit that I got in from Muni Made today as well. So give me just a moment. The second kit I have to share with you guys today, uh, just as a, a reminder, I know I showed it to you earlier, but this is Roselle by Michelle Zia or Michelle Shia. It's gonna be a bit different than the other one. It's gonna be a little smaller, 50 by 67 centimeters, and it's gonna have round diamonds. Now, this one I did not get an upgraded toolkit with, but I, I know that it comes with a really pretty coordinating color if you chose to upgrade yourself. Um, and I believe that she shows on the different listings what the different color trays are that you would get if you chose to upgrade. So let's take a look at this beautiful painting. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's dreamy and so incredibly sweet. Oh, I love that. Okay, let me roll this backwards. We're gonna help it lay flat. I'm gonna skim over some parts of this unboxing because I don't wanna reiterate all the same exact things that I just showed you guys. But I do want you to know that everything, the fundamentals, I should say, are gonna be the same with this kit as they were with the first kit. So if you want to hear me take you on a tour of the canvas and talk about some of the different features and whatnot, go ahead and rewind and take a look at the beginning of, of the last, last kit we unboxed. So we're still going to have the same uh, letter from Muni Made with some helpful info. I'll go ahead and show you the sticker sheet for this one though. So a little rolled up. Uh, same same deal here, you guys. We have the brand, the name, and the artist's name is Spot Try Your Start and End Date. And there's that beautiful original artwork again. She's so sweet. I love it. Round diamonds, 50 by 67 centimeters or 19.7 by 26.4 inches. Here's our color code list. You know what I just realized is on these sticker sheets, the shape of these varies depending on if it's a kit with round drills or square drills. Interesting. So this kit's going to have a total of 38 colors, including two ABs. Looks like lots of pinks and purples. We will definitely have to take a look at these diamonds together in just a bit. But let me show you the canvas so you can see some different parts of it, especially up close. So 
yeah, I think the kit that I worked on Mini Mate, from Mini Mate before is a round, can, round drill canvas because I recognize sort of the, the way that the symbols are printed. Lots of color blocking up here at the top. Again, color blocking is where we have lots of the same color in a small area, and that'll go really fast with the multi-placer. We have a little bit more in the way of color changes and confetti, as we would call it, in some of the areas that have more detail. These pretty flowers, and then her hair. Oh my gosh, look at her face. Now, I'm really curious about the skin tones, but this is a really striking piece because there's this glow of the flowers emanating out and kind of reflecting off of her face. So I think that there's gonna be a more striking effect there just by nature, especially looking at the original artwork. The detail in there, oh my goodness. So the printing is really clear, you guys, including the areas that have like a dark color background with a black letter or symbol on it. So that's still printed really clearly. I can see it really well. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at the detail in the strands of her hair as well. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. All right, let's do a quick measurement. So what are we? 50 by 67. This is a little bit more accessible size-wise, I think, if you're afraid of, of jumping in with a larger piece. I think this could be a good bet. Okay, we're just about 67 on the nose. And 50 exactly, left to right. So we are totally true to size on this one. Um, I, I also wanted to point out, this is the artist's Instagram. I'll try to have it linked below in the description box as well. But I appreciate that Beanie made links to each individual artist's Instagram on her kits. But look at this beauty, you guys. She is just, just, just the prettiest. I love, I love, I love. Okay, let's look at these diamonds now together. It's funny, when I look at round diamonds packaged like this, proportionally it looks like so much less than squares. But if you were curious, round diamonds are actually slightly larger than squares are. Rounds are, are usually between 2.7 and 2.8 millimeters, whereas squares are 2.5. So on the same size canvas, this would have more diamonds if it had squares than it does rounds. So for some reason, when I look at them in the package, I'm like, is that gonna be enough? No, I had plenty, plenty left over when I did when I did my deity of the forgotten kit from Mini Made. So I'm not worried about it. Plus, she has that guarantee. If you run out of a color, you contact her, she sends you more. So just like the last kit, you guys, this, these are gonna come in pre-sealed baggies. We have our legend number here, the DMC code here, and you have the option of working out of baggies if you prefer that to working out of storage containers. Now, um, I do prefer working out of storage containers because I'm klutzy, and also sometimes, sometimes, it'll depend on your climate and, and whatnot, Sometimes Ziploc baggies or resealable baggies like this are more prone to static. And if you run into static with your diamonds, however they come, whether it's in Ziploc baggies or heat sealed baggies, if you run into static, it can be a real pain, but it's really easy to combat, I feel like. I just cut up a square of dryer sheet into small squares and I tuck it in the bag and just shake it around, you know, move it around, make sure it gets kind of all areas of the bag and the diamonds. And that usually takes care of it for me. Just FYI, that's that's my go-to. Lots of rich, rich browns and burgundies, pinks and purples. This kit, when there's a lot of colors that are similar to one another or close in shade like this, I actually think it's really promising because I feel like that means there's gonna be some really nice color blending overall. Last but not least of these colors. Those look good, by the way. The drill quality looks really nice. I think those are gonna be really good to work with. We also are gonna have just a couple of bags and small amounts of these ABs. Now again, ABs are, are a, uh, the AB rather stands for Aurora Borealis, and these are named after the Northern Lights. They have a super, super sparkly and striking iridescent coating on the tops of them. It's gonna catch your eye and draw your eye to the areas they've been charted. They are stunners. I love when, when companies hand chart these into their kits. So we're gonna have this pretty tangerine orange and then a nice cherry red. I'm gonna guess these are gonna be in the flowers, but let's take a look so that I don't miss any. Uh, so we've got, let's see. 
the letter T and the letter R. So I do see the letter R for our cherry red AB is sprinkled around the center of this, or like kind of the, a little bit outside of the center of this flower. It's sprinkled through over here, just real sparingly, one or two here and there, sprinkled a little bit through here, here and there. And then the tangerine orange AB is sprinkled, there's just like a half dozen right in here. There are maybe a dozen sprinkled through the center right here. There's also some of the red AB in here as well. And then we have the tangerine orange AB in the center sprinkled throughout this part right here. And then these yellows, I wonder, those yellow parts, I feel like I might bling up myself. I think that could be a really good spot to add some other special drills as well. And then these like sparkles, do those happen to, no, those are not ABs on this canvas, but that would be really tempting to swap in some ABs there. And a really easy swap too, I think. Taking a look up here in the middle of this flower, again, we actually have some of the tangerine and then a little bit of the cherry red, both sprinkled through here. A little bit of the cherry red sprinkled through this flower over here. And then I just want to make sure not missing any. Let's go up here to these flowers. There's just a couple of the tangerine orange in this one. You could probably see the orange. There's four of them right here in the center of this flower. And then a half dozen to a dozen of the cherry red in the center of that one as well. So I actually, in a piece like this, that is, is a little bit color wise, it's a little more neutral and the colors are overall darker and the focus really is here in this area. I love the AB placement. I feel like it's really intentionally and beautifully done and highlights and draws my eye to the areas that I want it to. So I really love that. It's looking at this piece, I feel like you can totally tell that it has been hand charted again, just like the last piece. Uh, a human touch has really been done with these pieces and Muni Made, I feel like has a really lovely attention to detail that comes through in every aspect of her business, whether it's her, her trays and her other accessories and it's absolutely translating to her diamond painting kits as well. I can tell that she's really trying to, to give us a high quality product and a really wonderful high quality experience as well. And I'm impressed. Like this, the consistency of the quality and, and of the features that I'm seeing from the kits that I've completed and unboxed from her before to now this run of kits. These are new releases of hers, like I mentioned. Um, I really like that a lot. I think that that's really promising for her as a small business. And it just, it makes me feel really good and really confident about continuing to support and buy from her because I feel like I'm just gonna have a really wonderful experience of not only working on the kits, but overall just the whole experience of of buying from her and how she packages everything. Um, I really, really think that these upgraded toolkits are an amazing investment. Like I said, it's a really nice way in particular to get your hands on one of the trays. Um, the size will vary, by the way. It depends on what size kit you get. Um, if it's a larger canvas, it'll come with a larger tray. If it's smaller, I, like this one I think is probably still gonna come with a larger tray, I'm not sure. But she's she's really transparent about that up front on the website where if you go and look at the listing for this kit and you, I think, scroll through the listing pictures, it'll show you the color of what the coordinating tray for that kit is and if it's large or small. So um, I think this is a really nice upgrade um, to add on. Like this was for the other kit, by the way, this color, obviously this green doesn't, doesn't go with this kit. <laughs> I think that the color that came with this kit was one of her pink, one of her shades of pink trays. She has several, I have most of them because I love the color pink, but um, you guys, I, I have to say that especially being a small business and and everything that goes into running a small business from all the additional work that goes in on the back end and the fact that like you you generally don't carry as much stock as some larger shops do and that you're getting more of sort of a really personalized and even like a boutique kind of experience that means that often the cost is going to be higher and that's not because small shops are looking to like get rich off of this a lot of times it's just you know they're ordering in smaller quantities because 
it's just a person or it's just a family. They can't afford to order just mass quantities of things. Um, some of that is just the reality of, of they're, they're paying their artists and the cost of materials and that sort of thing. Um, I know that they're not trying to rip us off. But yes, by nature, when you buy from a small shop, you're going to spend a little bit more. But I appreciate that shops like Muni Maid are really trying to take these extra steps to to make that feel really worth it to us, to make it feel really personalized and feel like it has that small business touch and that care that really goes into it. And I think that's so evident with Muni Made. So know that you're getting that and that's part of what you are paying for, just so you know. Um, but yeah, I am loving what I'm seeing. These are just two of the four new releases that Muni Made released this round. I will link to her Facebook group, which is a really good place to stay up to date with new releases and um, to connect with other people that are fans of her, her accessories and her kits and I'll link to her YouTube channel and her Twitter as well. Um, there's different places that she suggests going to get information from, like announcements and shops, stuff like that, especially as she's going to have her, her her first little one arriving here in the next couple of months. Um, I think that's probably the best way that you can stay up to date with what's going on with the shop. Of course, we want to give her tons of grace because that like that transition to motherhood is no joke. So <laughs> sending her all of my love you guys sent her tons of of just love and and good vibes that all goes well she's getting ready to welcome her little one but in the meantime she's still got these gorgeous diamond painting kits this was Rizelle by Michelle Zia and this over here was Beauty and Chaos from Tally Sketch so I'll link to both of these listings um and I think there may even be a way to sign up for like to wishlist it or to sign up for a notification for when they're back in stock. I'm not sure. I'll link to the listings. Know that if one or both of these are out of stock, they're coming back. They're not limited edition. So thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys, for this double unboxing. I loved getting into these new Muni Made kits with you. Uh, they both look really incredible. And I, I think that you should go and take a look. If either of these images catch your eye and you want to work on them, I think that they're going to be beautiful once complete. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button by, by the way below if you want to stay up to date with my, my future diamond painting content. And uh, leave any questions, comments, or thoughts below in the comment section. Uh, I'll be sure to take a look down there too. So have a wonderful, wonderful day, my friends. And I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.